Today I'm going to give you a brief demo of Vertex 42's checkbook register. I've got here a, a brand new template freshly downloaded from Vertex 42 website. The first thing I need to do is set up the starting balance. So in my example today I'm just going to assume that I'm starting on June 1st 2011. So I'm going to go ahead and put June 1st in there 2011. And you'll notice that the balance as of date automatically updated. And let's just say my balance as of that day was $1,000 in this account. Then I can start entering all the checks and deposits that I've made to this account. So let's go ahead and say on that same day, I went ahead and deposited maybe some wages and tips, as it says, $2,000 into that account. You'll notice that the running balance automatically updated to include the starting balance plus that $2,000 deposit. Then I'm going to go ahead and say I made a payment on the next day for my car. We'll just go ahead and say it's $200 to make the math easy. I can delete this line if I don't feel like I need it. So I'm going to, have to delete that by right clicking and going down to delete. And this line I'm going to go ahead and also delete. Now let's say I had another payment. I can go ahead and just copy this entire row to add. All I need to do is right click on it, go to copy. I'm going to go ahead and just paste it over an empty row. And in this case, I'm going to maybe I had a cable bill I also paid on that day. And I can put in any category I want here. The nice thing about these categories is the first time you have to come up with something, let's say in this case I'm just going to put cable in there. You type it and then you put the number in. But it, later on when I come back, if I had another transaction, you'll notice that it automatically tells me that there's cable in the list already and I simply need to accept that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some more transactions here. Let's say I wrote a check on the third. Perhaps I was at the grocery store and for some reason used my checkbook to write that and it was check 1012. I could put in Safeway in there. I could put groceries as a new category. You'll notice there's didn't autocomplete so it wasn't already there so groceries a new category and I made a payment so I'm going to put it in this column let's say I went ahead and spent $55 on groceries again you'll notice that the balance continues to add you can continue to just add transactions to your check register as you spend out of this account but let's say you forgot to add something you want to come back and add it in the proper place let's say I forgot to add something on the first well, all you need to do is highlight a row right click copy then I'm going to go up to right below where I want to add it. So in this case, I want to add it between these two rows. So I'm going to pick the bottom one. I'm going to go right click, insert copied cells. And you can go ahead and change the, the date on that to the first. Let's just go ahead and say I did an ATM withdrawal of uh, cash. I'm just going to put cash here again. And perhaps I just put 20 bucks out of that account and you'll notice that again the numbers are updated correctly. You'll notice in this section here that there's formulas in these balance totals. This is what actually does the running calculation. As long as you leave those formulas alone you'll be fine. You can also simply copy the formula down and then fill in a row. Let's say on the fifth, sorry, on the fifth I wrote another check for gas in this case I'm going to put in Chevron gas and let's say I put in $25 sorry $25 you'll see that that formula was already there because I copied it and it was easily updated a couple other things you should know you can rename the register to perhaps the name of your account just simply click on the tab down below and then right click on it rename and perhaps this is my spending account and I simply renamed it. You can then also copy this sheet and make separate tabs for each of your different bank accounts. Uh, perhaps I've got a savings account. Uh, all you have to do is right click on it, come up to move or copy. Then you're going to create a copy. Make sure that this is checked and you want to put it before the help sheet. Go ahead and hit OK. Now I've got spending in there and then again right click on it. I can rename it perhaps to savings. I can also do the same by copying it, 
create copy before help and perhaps I'm going to have also a credit card register to keep track of how much I'm putting on my credit card. In each case you're simply going to start at the beginning again with the opening balance and put in the correct transactions. Going back to my spinning sheet, I just want to point out that there's also the reconcile column here with the R. This is used to balance your checkbook. Basically when something's cleared and you know it's cleared, you can simply put an R in there to let you know that it's been reconciled. That way you can keep track to make sure that all these transactions have actually hit your account or that you haven't overlooked a specific transaction. A lot of people are looking for a way to track how much they spend and on what they're spending it on using the category column here. If you're looking for this feature, then I'd recommend that you download the free money management template from Vertex42, which does all of this and much more.